Today, we're talking about how to add new material and quality options in Simplify 3D. All these options can be found in the process settings. We're going to focus on the Auto Configure options here, which will automatically adjust relevant settings based on the choices you make. For example, the material choice controls settings like temperatures and fan speeds, and the quality choice controls infill percentage, layer height, and top and bottom solid layers. This is what the software does by default for this profile, but you can change these if you want. For example, if I decided that I wanted to change print speeds as a part of my material configuration, I could certainly do so, and we'll talk more about that in a later video. But for now, let's just stick to the default settings. So now let's take a closer look at the quality settings, which again, control infill percentage and layer settings. We can see the infill percentage here, but to see our layer settings, we have to click the Show Advanced button. This reveals some of the other settings behind the scenes. So let's go to the Layer tab. If I toggle between quality settings, you'll see the infill percentage and layer settings change. Here at medium quality, you can see that the infill percentage is 20%. The layer height is 0.2 millimeters, and we have three top and bottom solid layers. Now let's look at high quality. You can see that the infill percentage has jumped to 30%. I have a 0.1 millimeter layer height and four top and bottom solid layers. So those are the defaults, but we can change them if we want to. Let's say we wanted to make high quality 40% infill instead of 30%. So I just drag my slider up to 40%. Now if I switch back to medium quality, you'll see it goes back down to 20% as it was previously. But now, if I go back to high quality, the software remembered that I changed my infill to 40%. So our high quality setting now uses 40% infill. It's as simple as that. While we can easily change these three quality settings, we can also add a completely new quality setting. So as an example, I'm going to create a new quality level called extreme quality, for which I'm going to use a 50% infill and five top and bottom solid layers. So we click the plus button next to print quality, type our new quality name, extreme, and click OK. And then we make the changes we just talked about. So I slide the infill percentage up to 50% and set top solid layers to five and bottom solid layers to five. These are now the settings that will be used for extreme quality. So as I switch to high quality and then back to extreme, you can see that the software has remembered my new setting. You can also use the minus button to remove a quality setting that you don't need. For example, let's say I never use the fast quality setting. So I just click the minus sign and it's gone. So that pretty much covers the changes that take place with quality settings. And it's very similar for materials. We mentioned earlier that changing a material will adjust fan speeds and temperatures. So let's go to the temperature tab. So here's PLA, and it's at 230 degrees. We can also choose ABS, PVA, nylon. Here's nylon at 220, which I could easily change to 210 if I wanted. And as before, the software will remember my change. I could also add a new filament. Let's say it's a flexible filament. Change the temperature as needed. And again, the software will remember my change. While we've made a lot of changes here, don't worry. We haven't overwritten the Replicator 2's stock settings, which is why you see the word modified after the profile name. As we've discussed in a previous video, if you wanted to, you could just use these two buttons to overwrite an existing profile or save a completely new profile. Or if you want to wipe out these changes completely, you just go to the profile dropdown, pick any other profile, and when asked to save your changes, click no. So give this a try and feel free to experiment. This makes it really easy to add new material or quality options so you could take advantage of your 3D printer's versatility.